five, but you know, who count. Um, how do you feel about going up against Sammy Watkins, probably the most talented receiver you've ever against this year, to this point? I mean, you, you know, I'm, I respect him at the same time, but, you know, that good team, good players, you know, I'm, I'm not, you know, doing anything different this week, you know, I'm still practicing hard and prepare myself as if I'm playing, you know, every week, you know, every every Saturday, I'm going to play the same way. Torian said that it would be very difficult, almost impossible for you to shadow a guy if they didn't line him up on the same side every time. Um, based on what you've seen and talked about with him in regard to Clemson, how do they line up Watkins? I get the impression he doesn't line up on the same side every time because they motion so much. Nah, uh, he more to the field. I'm going to be in the boundary this week. That line six, I can't remember his name, number six. He, he's more aligned to the boundary. But they put, they, they kind of, you know, exchange them, you know, a little bit. But, you know, from on film, you know, you, you see that they like to get Washington the ball, whether it's bubbles, you know, screens, anything. You know, they want to put the ball in his hands. You've seen some clips of two, number two. You've seen that. What, what's your first impression? I mean, that guy's about as quick and fast as I've seen. Oh, yeah, across definitely, the definitely. Uh, he's a true freshman. Uh, he, doesn't, he, he doesn't show it on film. You know, he plays like he, he's been around the program, like he has experience. You know, um, he's, he's a good player, all around good player, man. He's one of those competitors. You know, the guy, those are the kind of players you want to play against. So is, is there, so you can't, they won't shadow you on both sides? They won't have you shadow him, like move around with him on both sides? Uh, not, not this game, um, being a boundary, you know, so, you know, you know, six, like I said, number six is more aligned. He lines more to the boundary. You know, sometimes they put two over there, but, you know, we got Fuller. You know, Fuller can get the job, man. So, you know, we got we got different coverage combinations to, you know, to, to help with that. How much does it help you guys, even though ECU probably is a little bit different than what Clemson does? Still kind of spread, still a lot of pass-oriented stuff. How much do you think it helps you guys if you were able to see something like that, a team that's throwing the ball all the time at some point in the first four games? Well, it, it definitely gets you prepared, you know, because uh, after seeing it, you know, um, after seeing it, you know, once, you know, the second time, you know, uh, you know, it kind of, you know, sticks with you, so you, you kind of look for things that you kind of notice, you know, in the previous games that they might be doing similar, you know, just trying to pick up on things, but it definitely helps when you play against the team.